I have a petition. I think, hear me out on this, okay? I think we women, all the women in the world collectively who are done having children, but have yet to hit menopause, we, we reach out to mother nature and we go, hey, listen, if we sign a petition that you don't show up anymore because we're done having children, can we maybe back off on the periods? Like, can we chill with that? It's been so bad the last, I'm like, I'm not someone who usually gets bad periods. My periods are just kind of like, they're just different, I guess I should say. They're not bad, they're just different since having kids, which makes sense. My uterus did something completely different and it did it back to back, but holy cow. And I'm not going back on a hormonal birth control. So I mentioned it yesterday on threads. Um, <clears throat> they're riding bikes in the house. It's, they're fine. Um, and a bunch of people were like, yeah, this is why I got back on hormonal birth control. Hold on. Bro, bro, listen to me. Anyways, so I mentioned this yesterday on threads and a bunch of people were like, that's why I'm on hormonal birth control. Like, I just don't wanna be on that. I got my fallopian tubes removed so I wouldn't have to do that. Like Sam and I both closed up shop, you know what I mean? Because it's like, it's just easier to do that than to go on hormonal birth control. And it's just like, I don't wanna do that, but like they're, they suck. I used my uterus for what it wants every month. Did it twice me alone and today is gonna be busy so I figured I'd bring you guys along we got a lot to do we got a lot of planning this week <gasps> don't we it's gonna be a big week my little mini Sam yeah say hi 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 you're so pretty oh my god what so boys are with Chi and granddaddy mommy's got a lot of work to do today so I mentioned on my main channel no yeah it was my main channel the other day that I love the L'Oreal, I think it's the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. It's so good. The amount of people, okay, it does arrive today, just not right now. Um, the amount of people who were like, you wait, get a pump. You're gonna love that foundation even more. Um, so bless the soul, I think her name was Wendy. Um, found the link, sent it to me through Instagram and I ordered it. So I thought that's what this was. I needed some Midol. Uh, cause your girl's struggling. I did not know that Midol, I always thought Midol was just like for cramps. I didn't realize it helped with, no, it says, okay. All right, whatever. Uh, it helps with bloating, which that is one thing since, oh, you give birth. It's like a period. You look like you're like five months pregnant. At least I do the very first day. Usually the bloating isn't bad beyond that. But that first day or like the days leading up to it, you look at me and be like, how many weeks are you? Like that's, it's bad. So I'm gonna try that because my bloating is too. Um, but these, okay, if you're a mom, we have tried every single, every single cup under the face of the sun. My mom and I have tried them all. Uh, because you can get different kinds at different stores and we're always looking for what is truly leak proof. So the Contigo, if they are put together correctly, are 100% leak proof. They will leak if the top is loose or um, whatever. But we one thing that we don't love about them, and this has only happened since Roman because this never happened with Ezra. We've had a ton of these cups since we had Ezra. Roman tends to take his bottom two teeth and really kind of use this as a teeter. So he was actually like, he would just sit and gnaw on this like soft, cause it's kind of a little gel cap and I guess it felt good on his teeth. So he actually had worn a hole in a couple of these, but these are the Contigo cups. They are the best cups we have found. And I am not kidding. We tried them all. Um, and, and there are a lot of good brands, but I find that being a hundred percent like leak proof 100% is just, it's not universal. So um, I ordered, cause we had to throw some away because they had the little holes there. We ordered four more of these and usually you can get them in a two pack. I'm sure you can find just one, but these are, I mean, just the best like. All right, packages are open. Now I'm getting ready. Um, I don't have a ton of time this morning. I need to like really get moving. I have a lot to film today. 
I've been posting like really quick short YouTube videos on my main channel every single day and it's been super nice because Instagram has been such a pain. So <laughs> they claim it's not true, but analytics are analytics. They don't lie and everyone finally has caught on to it. But basically the more you post on Instagram stories, the less they share your stuff. I wish I was kidding. The more links you post, the less they push your stuff out. And the other day, my anal my story analytics were the lowest they've been probably since like 2018. I've never had analytics that low. And so you post less, I think it's like three or five or less stories. And then all of a sudden, when I was only posting like no more than three or four stories a day, my analytics, like my story views were higher than they've been. Like thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of people were seeing my stuff and versus a couple hundred like it was insane so anyway part of being an influencer i wish it was just post what makes you happy post what you want when it comes to instagram that's just not the case anymore they don't they really do punish you and your whole entire account that you've like worked so hard for doesn't get shown to people because instagram wants you to do things their way so i've not been spending as much time over there like as although it's so easy to hop on like an Instagram story, I film it from my phone, I post it within 30 seconds, it's done. And the YouTube video, even a quick YouTube video, a two minute video, like that still takes so much more time. But it's like, I just don't, like it sucks when the audience we've worked so hard for just isn't seeing your stuff simply because Instagram is like wanting to do something different. So anyway, I just haven't been spending as much time over there. I've been spending a lot more time on YouTube, a lot more time. Um, I don't post as much on TikTok, but I do like, watch oh that was way too much i do watch a lot of tiktok um but i've just been spending a lot of time here so i think that's why i've been doing the youtube videos is like i'm kind of trying to fill in those gaps so like if i'm not going to post as much on instagram stories and i'm not going to share like hey these are the random things i bought hey these are you know these sales are going on i'm going to equally i'm going to share that here i'm going to share it on my main channel so that you guys are still getting content from me, even though Instagram is just not the place I'm sharing it anymore because that's, they're just annoying. So anyway, wanna let you guys know what kind of content I'm gonna be doing this week because I'm really excited for it. It's September 1st on Sunday, I believe is the first, which makes me so excited. Like, I can't believe that it's already September. It's bittersweet because time goes super fast when you have little kids. However, we have reached the point here in South Carolina, like, this year, I would say May and June were actually quite enjoyable. Usually May and June are not. July and August are always pretty miserable. They've been extra miserable this year, extra hot. Like I just can't, I can't do it. And although we get so excited and it's like 90 degrees usually until October, September 1st, we do start to early, early mornings get a slight glimpse of what fall weather will be like. So I'm gonna decorate this weekend for fall, which I'm really excited about. I wanna do a variety of sizes and heights and colors of mums now that I know how to water them appropriately. They are bottom feeders, which means you literally take the whole entire pot that they come in and you like, I had clear plastic tubs and I would go outside once a week last year. It like seemed tedious, but it actually wasn't the grand scheme. And I would put my mums in this whole tub of water do be careful because you leave them in there for like, I think it was about an hour. I can't quite remember. But when you lift those mums back up out, they are so heavy, but they like water from the bottom up. And last year they were a little bit too far gone by the time I realized that. So I got some smaller mums. And when I ended up feeding them or watering them appropriately from the start, they were beautiful. So I know how to keep my mums alive this year. Um, deadheading them is also really important. So we're going to possibly this weekend costco i would love to probably go to costco on thursday do not want to go to costco on the weekends if i can avoid it um and then possibly like on the weekend we'll go to lowe's which isn't much better but we'll go and get smaller moms because they usually have smaller um sizes versus costco that like have the ones that are like you literally, oh, last year, I think I still had my niece on when we bought ours and I think I had, I had to go get them in my mom's car. That's what it was. They were so big that I literally could not fit them in my Nissan. So I gotta go, gonna go to Costco. 
Um, I also am partnering with Walmart on a video and I'm think I haven't dove super deep into exactly what like theme they're kind of looking for. But when you get collabs, basically with Walmart, they're amazing. They're, they're very easy to work with, always have been. But they, um, what they basically do is they go, here's what we would like to see theme wise. Here's like five or six options, five or six things we're thinking about have at it. Um, and for me, the partnership I'm doing with them, I'm thinking I'm kind of wanting to go into a like fall decor direction. Um, so that hopefully, you know, I am helping you guys get ready for fall. Walmart's liking it and I'm actually getting my house ready. So that's kind of just what we're planning this week. Um, apart from that, I think I already said it. I don't know. I have a million appointments to make and people to call and I gotta get my oil change this Thursday. The guy's coming to put the tent on our front doors, which I talked about a couple vlogs back. Um, gotta get Ro his, an appointment for him. Uh, there's just a lot that we have to do, but, oh, I have to message my doctor. Like it's, it's a lot of things. And I've had a lot of coffee this morning, which is why I'm like running 352 miles an hour. But anyways, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then film some good YouTube videos. Um, Cause again, not really spending a lot of my time over on Instagram. It is what it is. I wanted to show you guys the, I think my knife's out here. Um, I got the prettiest lanterns for the front porch. So told y'all, gonna start decorating for fall soon. I know that not everybody's about it. Don't shoot the messenger. I am ready. Specifically because when it is fall here, it's just not a million degrees. Like it's not necessarily our fall weather's like cool, but it's not seven billion outside, you know? So by the way, I'm wearing pajama shorts and a leopard top, but I got three, no, okay. So I got three different sizes of lanterns. Six total. Well, that wasn't promising. This is one thing about Walmart shipping that I just can't get on board with. Why is everything like haphazardly thrown in here? This is just chaotic. Anyways, so that is the smallest. Holds four inch high pillar candle, sold separately, of course. I'm gonna have to, Oh my God, that one is fully bent. Walmart, God, Ugh, this isn't going as good as I expected it to. Yeah, see if they would have all come in these boxes, it would have been a much different situation. That one just came like thrown in. Let's see, is this the large one? Yeah, this is the medium, wow, okay. So you can see, here I'll try and hold them the same size as the bottom, small, medium. And I'm thinking about getting like some fake candles, not real ones, because our front porch does get full, full sun throughout the day. And I, I just don't see a world where <laughs> any real candle would not melt into oblivion. All right, that's another medium. And lastly, we've got the large. Cool, it's broken. That's what I get. This is, this is the one downside. To flipping Walmart. This is what you get. You get this kind of stuff. You get haphazard thrown together boxes. That is so irritating. It's fine, I'll exchange it, but like, God, that is one thing, like Walmart has a really easy, for what it's worth, like a super easy exchange policy. Okay, well at least that one looks good. This was a hot mess, wow, that's just, yeah. So anyways, I, I'll take this broken one. I've got to take a picture of that. It's got a nice little slice right there through the door. Um, and I'll put it in the one that came with the nicest packaging. So, 
Anyways, we've got, let me show you. This is the large, this is the medium, and this is the small. So the small definitely drops off a lot, but I'm thinking all of these behind me, I'm gonna move these, gonna replace those with mums, and then we'll be, we'll be good to go. But now I have to take a trip to the post office to return these. So that will be super fun. But anyways, so let it get. Lazy. I'm talking about you. Lazy. All right, so I changed. I'm gonna go to Walmart now um, and return that lantern just to get it off my hands. I hate when I have returns that are just sitting around. I hate when I have mail of any kind. And I actually don't think I'm gonna do an exchange because I put them on the porch and I actually like five. Like you should always kind of do odds. It does work more than evens, but I don't know, in my head, I just wanted them to be even. And then when I put the odd numbers out, I was like, oh, that just looks really good. So I think I'm just gonna return it. Not worry about having another one shipped. But it is 3.40, the day did escape me pretty fast. So we're gonna go ahead and get going. I usually like to grab the boys on Mondays and Tuesdays for my parents around 4.30. So I'm gonna go do this really quickly and then get home quickly clean up all the mess from filming and then cook dinner. So I have no idea what we're having. I think we had talked about it, but I have no idea what we talked about. I don't remember. My shoes are out here. Yep, these will work just fine. Gosh, I've got toenail polish on only like nine toes. Sparkly shoes. I am just the picture of fashion today. Yeah, it's just so chaotic. Got y'all all sort of crooked. I also have to run by the bank. I think that's actually all, but hopefully we can make back quickly. So let's go. I don't like these glasses. They hurt my head.